This video is going to take a look at how you can look at your outcome data inside of your Canvas course. So the first thing you need to do is open up the Canvas course, scroll all the way to the bottom to where it says settings, click on it. And where it says learning mastery gradebook, you need to toggle it on. So that's step one. This is kind of a one and done. Once you've turned it on, you don't have to mess with this step again. Then you'll go to your grades. And here you're going to see traditional grades like you're used to. But to change those grades to the learning mastery, you're going to click on the down arrow next to gradebook and choose learning mastery. Now, this one isn't going to give you a ton of data because I, I only used it a few times with these kids. Um, it was when I was first learning it. So you're going to see names over here. And then here were my outcomes that I created. And so every time I used a rubric, it plugged it into this at data. Notice as I'm hovering, it's giving me a summary of what's going on. Um, you can even see like a little graph. So only 2% aren't meeting expectations. Um, what we hear is a better, yeah, 100%. There we've got, you know, me expectations, 11%, but we're trying to get them to the exceeds. This is my honors class, so I, I'm not shocked by this, this um, uh, data. And I did it toward the end of the school year, if I remember correctly. But what I like about that is you can hover and see just a, a quick gist of your whole class on a outcome. You can look per student on an outcome. Over here, it tells you your key, but look, you can also um, click to turn something off. Now watch how they all go away. So now I can quickly see who needs some help, or maybe I can just look at who's below mastery. I can turn those back on. I can hide outcomes without any results. I can hide students. I can put it in a spreadsheet. I can look by section versus by all students. And then um, I can have as many of these as I want. You'll notice I don't have data for all of these. There's some more data. Um, let's look at these. It's probably a little better there. All right. So I can also go back to my regular gradebook by clicking here. But that's how you're going to look at the data for your outcomes.